whilst mirroring objects is perfectly acceptable and a perfectly useful way of working, what you can also do is you can mirror half an object, such as the one that I've got here. And while I'm doing that, I can very quickly and very easily, let's say for example, let's just get rid of that. And we just mirror, uh, and we'll make this an instance. The reason why I would maybe do that is because what I can do is I can come in here, and I can grab hold of some of these points, and I can start to move them around. So you see that I'm beginning to get this kind of symmetrical model appear. And really, that's very, very useful. So I can make tweaks to this model as we go through, and I can do all sorts of things. So I can maybe make the nose a little bit longer. There we go. Um, maybe even pick up the cockpit a little bit just to make it look a little bit more interesting. There we go. So we've kind of got a sort of a cartoonish feel to this craft already. Now, I might want to then attach that or attach these two sides together to make sure that I can then join them. It becomes a whole model. Otherwise, what you've got is you've got half a model, really, and that's not really much good. But there's a couple of things that we need to be aware of. Even though I've mirrored this object, this side here, and it looks as if it's mirrored perfectly and there's absolutely nothing wrong with it, in actual fact what's happened is the normals, and the normals are the direction that the face is pointing in, are flipped. I can prove this by coming up to my utilities and going to Reset Transform and saying Reset Selected. And let's just get rid of the grid. And you can see here that what happens is that that right-hand side, or the left-hand side of the plane rather, is actually looks as if it's been turned inside out. The edges are still there. You can see that because they match up along the middle here. And the shape is still there, but the faces are now pointing in completely the wrong direction. This is very important because if I'd attach those two models together, there's a chance that the lighting across the two surfaces, across that scene, just wouldn't have worked. So, okay, what we've got to do now is we've got to go in. And you can see here I've got that transform. If I turn that off, everything just disappears. And what I need to do is I need to get back to having an editable polygon. So what I'll do is I'll right click over the model and I'll say convert to editable polygon. And there you can see we've now converted to an editable poly. I'm going to select all the elements by face there, or select all the faces by element rather. And you can see under my edit elements, I can say flip. And now what I've done is I've solved that problem so that if I do go back and I put a reset transform on there, you can see it's made absolutely no difference at all because the model has already been flipped and everything is already the correct way round. So we'll just convert that back to being uh, an editable polygon again. Let me see here. Come here. Convert to editable polygon. There we go. So now I can go through the process of attaching the two halves together selecting all the vertices and doing a weld and there you go you can see before we had 88 let's move this out of the way before we had 88 um, vertices in that selection now we've got 76 which to my mind suggests that the right vertices are welding together and now if I select a face here and I pull that up you can see it affects all the surrounding faces on the opposite side of the plane. So it's a useful thing to know about the reset transform. If you're bringing in files from other packages or other Autodesk products, it's always a good idea to go through that process of just selecting the model, going to your utilities, going to reset transform and pressing reset selected. Once you've done that, you come back to your modify tab, you see we've got a reset transform on this. All you've got to do is right click and convert it to an editable poly if you need to select everything by or select all the faces by element and hit the flip button and that will sort out all of your problems